else to do besides working on cars 24-7 after, you know, work, because that also takes up uh, tons and tons of time. So I decided to start messing with epoxy. As of right now, I'm doing some uh, trays. These are listed as a rolling tray, but can be used for um, various things. Chicks, you put your makeup on them, or brushes, or whatever, guys. You can put tools, sockets on them, you just set them in your toolbox to keep things organized. Um, center of the table, you know, what are business cards, whatever you want to use these for. But uh, I'm using a two-part epoxy. Here is one I've got done. This one's mostly transparent. This is lavender and uh, gold drop in the center, and then a dark purple, I believe. As you can see. You can see my face through the um, mold there. It's very glossy and uh, very hard. So I use mica powders to do these colors. And so I'm going to be knocking out another one of these trays today for guy at work. I am selling these locally. I'm not selling any like shipping wise yet. So uh, let me show you what I got to work with. So I got some new supplies in today. So it's kind of cold and I want to get this poured so it has some time to get knocked out so I can pour another one tomorrow afternoon when I get off work. Um, plus I want to thin this stuff out because if not you spend tons of money. I don't know if you realize but this stuff is not cheap. And then I have a, I bought these silicone cups. A little pricey right off the bat but it will save money in the long run. Flexible and once this stuff hardens you can literally just unfold it pull it out like you do the mold it's literally the same silicone and they're measured and this cup came with a set of all these little ones so let's say i want to do some dirty pours and i want to do um 80 milliliters at once i can do 40 and then go up to the 80 and then drop in my uh with you know one part up to 40 the other part up to 80 and then drop in my color and then i can do like four different pours and just, you know stuff like that and same thing with these mixing sticks instead of popsicle sticks you can uh, clean these which is cool so the tray I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be a luster blue um, just a single color he didn't ask for any other kind of color or anything so uh, as soon as this stuff gets all ready my modes in the sink right now being cleaned and uh, we'll start working on this I did grab gloves, even when you think you're not gonna get any of this stuff on, you will. So my glove already has a little spot. I mean, I just grabbed it and I poured it right in the cup, but you get little drips off the side and whatever. So look at this. You're right at four ounces on the ounce side. This cup also has a milliliter for the people who use that. I don't. Since my epoxy came out of the back of the truck, FedEx truck, yeah, starting to thin out a little bit. I'll probably mix it. And I'll set my cup right here and let it warm up just a little bit while I'm mixing it, maybe. But I'm going to go ahead and add four ounces of my actual resin now. All right, so now I'm slowly mixing in color. Got a lot of air bubbles, but let me even get those out, though. All right, real slowly, right from the center. And slow just keeps air bubbles out. So I set the phone down to finish pouring it. <clears throat> and it's been setting for, I don't know, a few hours, I guess. But uh, let me show you guys this real quick and then I'll show you what else I started. So there it is. It's poured. And uh, not too shabby. So then on this tray, which you can see this little uh, thing right here, I'll make kind of like a hole or whatever. And then I did a bit of a dirty pour, like a black and white over blue. I did blue and then I poured black and white and made this nice little mold here. This is a uh, hanging serving tray. There we are. Very trend, like like an ocean wave bottom sort of. But I, on the next one, I may try to like start adding white to any blue ones I do. But look at that. Look how much blue that is. And I got to clean up that edge a little bit. That's just where some uh, stuff got on the side of the mold. Literally, once I wet sand this, that's gonna come right off anyways. But uh, 
looks rather well. So, dope. So, this is a uh, hangable tray I started on and uh, dumped like four different colors in there. And uh, I think this looks pretty rad. Can't wait to see how this turns out. But if you like this little bit of difference for the non-car people, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.